Okay, in this case you have an engine and that's being supported by chains. <coughs> got one chain AB, got another chain AC. And the question here is to determine the maximum weight of the engine that can be <coughs> supported without Exceeding attention of four fifty pounds <coughs> chain maybe and four eighty pounds in chain basically. So we're looking for the maximum weight of the engine that could be supported with the conditions that the tension you could have on the part of the chain AB should not exceed 450 and the tension you could have in the part of chain AC should not exceed 480. So those are the limits on the tensions you have on the chain. Now, let's say the weight of the engine was W. So capital W is the weight of the engine, which is unknown at this point. Then, if I pick this point, then I pick this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. And we draw the free bodies <coughs> for all that. So this point let's call this as P. So <coughs> at the point A you have the chain A B coming in. It should be in tension. So there will be a force on both ends and that's going to be P A B. Then you have the chain coming in which is um, AC and that's going to be in tension so the force there is going to be TAC and TAC now both of these chains connect at the ring which is point A so at this point this part of the chain is going to exert a force of exact magnitude as TAB but it's going to be in opposite direction. Then with this chain you will exert a force at this point and you will have a force of exact amount as TAC but it's going to be in opposite direction. Then we look at AD, the chain AD. That should be in tension. So the forces at both ends are going to be TAD and TAD but they are going to be in opposite direction. Then the point D. See point D you have the engine by itself. So at this point because of this there will be a force as TAD. So these are the two forces which are equal in magnitude but in opposite end direction plus the weight of the engine going downward so that's going to be W. So that's what you get as the free body diagram <coughs> for point D. Now we come back to A there is a force here at the end of the chain so you need to place a force of the same magnitude TAD but it has to be in opposite direction. So we pretty much have the free body for every component. That's the free body for the chain AB. This is the free body for the chain AC. 
that's the free body for chain AD that's the free body for the point P and that's the free body for point A so in total there are five free body diagrams but I actually just need two I mean this one doesn't give you any more information all it says is TAD minus TAD equals to zero same thing happens here it's not going to give you any more information but if I look at this if I sum my forces in y direction at point D it gives you TAD going up weight going down and is zero so we get the tension in the chain as the weight itself so this is really the weight then from geometry we know this angle as 30 so if I consider the point the point A means if I sum the forces in the x direction at point A those should go to zero so what you have is you have this force which is negative TAB then you will have a component of this force in the X so that's your X component and that's your Y component so <coughs> you have TAC and you have cosine of 30 and it's positive that should add up to zero then we sum the forces at the same point and we go in y direction you have this going downward so you attach a negative sign then you have this component of the force TAC <coughs> so that's TAC sine of 30 and that should add up to 0 we get two equations we have this equation here that's 1 we have this equation here that's 2 <coughs> now if I count the number of unknowns in this problem we got TAB at this point that's an unknown we got TAC that's another unknown and we got the W that's another unknown so you, you really have three equations and I'm sorry you have two equations and you have three unknowns so there is one extra unknown which you need to work with and that comes from conditions on the tensions TAB and TAC <coughs> since this one here there is a limit on it the TAB should be less than or at the most equal to 450 pounds <coughs> same with TAC should be either less or at the most equal to uh, 480 pounds so those are the restrictions on the tensions in the chain AB and AC so we can, we can maybe we can make some guesses let's take the case one and uh, in case one let's take TAB at its peak or it just goes all the way up to the 450 pounds so if it goes to this peak then you have I can use the force equation I can find TAC so you have negative 450 plus TAC cosine 30 equals 0 or that's going to give us TAC as 450 divided by cosine 30 and if you go to the actual calculation this is going to be 519.6 pounds so what it says is that if you take the tension in AB at its maximum allowable which is 450 then your tension will be the corresponding tension in the 
chain AC is 519 and that's greater than 480 pounds allowable so since it's greater this case will be not permissible So, so you're exceeding one of the tensions in the chain, so you can have that case. Well, there's always a possibility we can go to case two. And this time we say that instead of having here 450, how about if we had TAC as its maximum, which means 480 pounds. So <coughs> we allow the maximum in the chain AC then you can find TAB from the same equation now you're going to have 480 for TAC and you have cosine 30 and that should be 0 so that gives you TAB as 415.7 pounds So since this came out to be 415 and that's less than which we can have in that which is 450 pounds. So <coughs> when you allow the maximum in chain AC the corresponding tension in the chain AB is 415 and that's less than what you will be which will be allowing. So this case becomes permissible. So what we're doing is our T A C is four eighty pounds, T A B is four fifteen point seven pounds. Then we go back and we use this equation, the second equation. And now we're gonna find the weight. So we will use this equation. We have negative W plus TAC which is 480 and that's gets multiplied by sine 30 and that goes to zero. You get W as 4 80 sine 30 or 240 pounds. So that's the maximum W you can have in this particular problem. Now what happens if you take both as maximum? Let's say if I try a case 3 and we take TAB as 450 pounds and we take TAC as 480 pounds. I mean that's also possible right? So if you take those numbers at its peak what's, what is going to happen? What? No change. What do you mean no change? I mean if you tried the third case and if you put that in first equation if you put that in first equation you get 450 plus 480 cosine 30 and this will not be zero so you, you actually violating the first equation or your system will not be in equilibrium
So out of those three possibilities, when you had the one, cave, one chain at the maximum, then you had the second chain at the maximum, and the third when you had fourth chain at the maximum, the only possible solution which is satisfied is here. So that's going to become the answer 